All right, friends, so today we are working on Lesson 710, the 1. Make sure to write that in big capital letters because that's what we're going to be changing a little bit throughout the lesson. We've got the 1 for fractions. Okay, so let's consider here the triangle. Go ahead and draw a triangle in your notebook right there. And it equals half. So my question is, if the triangle is half, then what's the whole? One triangle is the half. We know that it's whole is broken up into how many pieces, guys? Two. two. So here's one half. How many halves do we need to make a whole? Two. two. So our whole then would be a rhombus. That's right. One half is that triangle. So the rhombus is the one then as a whole. Okay, so let's change that up a little bit. This one, we've got our trapezoid. Go ahead and draw a trapezoid. The trapezoid is equal to three fourths. Okay, so our hole is broken up into how many pieces? Four pieces, right? Well, this is three fourths of it. So go ahead and draw this into three fourths. So each fourth then is which piece? That triangle then. So then our whole, we would need another fourth, right? What other shapes can I make with four triangles? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I can make two rhombuses. That's right. You guys, go ahead and get creative. You can do two rhombuses as the whole. You can do a trapezoid with a triangle on the top or the bottom, making a big triangle. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. So make sure then, friends, that you cut those lines in half a little bit. So I've got my three fourths. And then my one more fourth. is the one, right? Okay, I'm going to do one more of these. This is three-fourths, so we needed one more fourth then for my hole, yeah. It's a big old triangle, yeah. Not those little six triangles, it's a combination of six of those, right? So this last one we're going to do is shapes. We've got two squares, alright? So I've got two squares right there. And two squares is equal to one third. So how many is our whole broken into? Three pieces, right? So one third is two squares. How many thirds do we have for a whole? How many thirds do we have for a whole? Six thirds for a whole? How many thirds for a whole? Three thirds for a whole. But you're right. We would have a total of six squares. So if one third is two squares, three thirds would be six squares. So six squares then is the one. 
Oh, sorry. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I take that back, guys. Now, now I think about this. I'm, I'm glad that we that I actually made that. Okay, so I've got one third, two thirds, and then three thirds. So you're right. So I'll do it that way. My bad. So we've got one third with two squares, two squares, and then two squares. I could manipulate these in any formation. I could have done a big long rectangle there as long as it was six squares for my one, right? Good. Okay. So before we completely stop, I'm going to show you guys a little bit with counters if you think about our last math method problem. Okay. So if three circles is half, what's the whole? Okay, we've got three circles, so I'm going to use some squares. That's half, right? Well, how many halves make a whole? Two halves make a whole, right? So one half is three, two halves is how many? Six. Six, that's right. Okay, so let's do one more. The four counters, or four circles, is two thirds and the whole is how many? Okay, how many is the whole broken into? Two, three, thirds, four. right? How many thirds are we looking at right now, though? Two thirds. So that means that one third is how many? Two, two right? So if we've got two thirds, each third is two, how many more thirds do we need? One more third for the whole, right? And each third is two. So what's our total number then? Six for a whole on that one too. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. That was a coincidence. So, friends, we will continue practicing this in our notebooks or in our uh, journals. You can go ahead and say goodbye. Bye.